last one i just like the case and maybe i, I might have even talked about it last month on your show i can't even remember but it's osmani v garland out of the seventh circuit and i just like it because i love burden and i'm not going to get into everything but essentially mr osmani was applying for adjustment of status uh, the refugee adjustment of status based on section 209, which has been coming up a lot in the circuits and at the board recently. I don't know what it is. There can't be that many section 209 refugee adjustments, but like it seems to be what all the circuits are publishing on in the last two months. And the board has published twice on it at least. But anyway, Mr. Osmani, um, the immigration judge denied a, a 209 adjustment as a matter of, of discretion. Oh, no, the, the, I'm sorry. The immigration judge granted 209 adjustment as a matter of discretion, and then the DHS appealed. And the board then overturned the IJ. And then, unfortunately, they deported Mr. Osmani, but now they got to bring him back because the Seventh Circuit remanded the board's overturning. And this is what I like about it. It's because ICE, before the IJ, didn't take a position on his waiver didn't say we don't believe he warrants a waiver as a matter of discretion. Uh, I'm sorry. Does I just didn't say that Mr. Osmani didn't warrant adjustment as a matter of discretion. I think they just said, uh, we've made our position, judge, you decide. And what the Seventh Circuit said, and I'm going to quote it, is that the BIA quote, will not consider an argument or claim that could have been but was not advanced before the immigration judge. Even, so even though Mr. Osmani, as all non-citizens trying to get relief, have the ultimate burden, mm -hmm. if ICE doesn't take a specific position before the IJ, essentially if ICE doesn't say, you know, judge, we don't think he warrants it for this reason, then it would seem, based on Osmani, ICE can't change their mind on appeal. ICE really can't even appeal, other than to say that the immigration judge made a mistake in the fact finding or something, but the ICE can't now say all these reasons that the non-citizen doesn't warrant relief on appeal. And I mean, you know, it's essentially holding ICE to the same burden that is held with non-citizens. Every, you know, multiple times a year, the board is coming out with decisions published that say, non-citizen can't advance arguments on appeal that weren't advanced before the immigration judge, often in the particular social group context where, you know, they come out with 15 new PSGs on appeal and they only put five forward before the immigration judge. So I'm always going to want to talk about a decision that holds ICE to the same burden as non-citizens counsel. was this? This is the seventh and it's Osmani v. Garland. Okay, very interesting. That is important. The equality and how they do this instead of these double standards is always the news. Thank you.